but many players of Need for Speed Unbound are getting the annoying DirectX error. If you're also experiencing this issue and you have no idea what to do, check out these fixes for you. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. Solution number one, restart the game. The DirectX error can sometimes be triggered on any game by a software or app glitch. To check if the cause of the problem is caused by a temporary bug, make sure to close and restart the game. Solution number two, check the game system requirements. If Need for Speed Unbound is still getting the DirectX error after closing, and restarting the game or your PC, the next thing that you can do is to double check if your PC meets the minimum system requirements. This is an important consideration especially if you have an old or non-gaming PC. Solution number three, play in another resolution. Some players discovered that changing the resolution of their monitors is one way of fixing DirectX error on Need for Speed and Bound. If you're playing the game on any other resolution other than 1080p, make sure that you change it and see if that will fix the problem. Solution number 4, check for GPU driver updates. Any PC gamer worth their salt knows how important it is to keep their graphics drivers up to date. Newer games, in particular, rely on frequent updates from GPU makers to fix any newly discovered issues. Using the manufacturer supplied software is the quickest way to get the latest version of your GPU drivers. It is also possible to obtain drivers directly from AMD and Nvidia's respective websites. Solution number 5, install Windows updates. Checking for the most recent OS update is just as important as fixing outdated graphics drivers. Updates for both the game and the Windows PC operating system are very simple to do. Keeping your PC's software up to date might lessen the chances of running into problems when playing games. Solution number 6, repair game files. If you're still getting the need for speed and bound direct X error at this time, the next solution for you is to ensure that you check for corrupted game files. Corrupted game files might cause unexpected shutdowns, slowdowns, and direct X error. To ensure that you have the most recent game files, please use the repair utility function within Steam. Here's what you must do. Launch the Steam app. Go to the library. Look for the need for speed unbound and right-click the icon. Then select Properties from the drop-down options. Select Browse Local Files tab. Select Verify Integrity of Game Files to begin the repair process. Run the game and check if the NFS Unbound crashing issue returns. Solution number 7, use another DirectX version. A need for speed unbound DirectX error can be triggered by a bug in your computer's DirectX version. Originally, the game is designed to use only DirectX 12 but if you can't seem to shake the error right now in your NFS Unbound game, try to see if switching to DirectX 11 will work. If you're not sure what your DirectX version is, follow these steps. Open the Run dialog box by pressing the Windows key plus R. In the Run box, type in DXDiag and press Enter. In the DirectX Diagnostic Tool window, you should see the DirectX version under the System tab. Now that you know the DirectX version on your machine, follow these steps to change the DirectX version on Steam. Open Steam. Go to the Library tab and select Need for Speed and Bound. Right-click on the game and select Properties. In the left pane, go to General tab. Go to Launch Options. Type the following command, Force DX11. Solution number 8, check other apps. Perhaps an odd software bug or some other undiscovered glitch in any of your third-party apps is to blame. Try to see if you can fix the NFS Unbound DirectX error if you limit your software to just the game client and launcher. You should also check that no Steam overlays, in-game overlays or any other applications are active. If you are experiencing problems with other games, try disabling the Discord overlay. Solution number 9, delete and reinstall. Many players were able to fix crashing issues and all sorts of errors in NFS Unbound by reinstalling the game. If nothing has helped so far and your game crashes still, you need to delete and reinstall it. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.